All right, in this video, we're gonna use the Tinkercad program to make a skateboard. So I'm going to start with some basic shapes here, like a box, and this is gonna be the basic deck of my skateboard. Now, I'm not trying to make a skateboard to scale, um, so I'm not too worried about measurements, but I am gonna be typing in measurements just to keep everything nice and easy to put together. So for example, I'm gonna make the thickness of this box six, and I'm gonna make the width uh, let's say 40 and the length 130. And this is in millimeters. And then we're gonna grab this rounded roof here and rotate it 90 degrees and then 90 degrees again. So it's gonna turn into the end of my skateboard deck. And I'm gonna use those measurements that I just had to make it fit really nicely. So we're gonna set the height to be six and we're gonna set the width to be 40 and then I'm just gonna pull the length out a little bit. So that way this guy should line up really nicely. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna select both the, the red box and the rounded roof and use the align tool to center them together. And then I'm just gonna use my arrow keys to move them so they are touching. Let's zoom in and make sure that they're actually touching here. I can change my precision just to make them match perfectly. We're gonna duplicate this rounded roof and move the duplicate all the way over here, rotate it around to give us two rounded ends of our skateboard deck. Now, if I wanted to, perhaps I could actually angle these. Let's say we angle them by about 10 degrees or so and then bring them in so they're overlapping. So I'm gonna angle this guy by about 10 degrees as well. And move them in. I think that's looking pretty nice, like a deck here. Select both, or all three shapes, and hit group. And now we have one nice solid skateboard deck. And I could of course change the color, maybe make it like a nice brown for wood. And if I actually duplicate this whole thing, I can lift it up and we're gonna sandwich it. We're gonna flatten it out. And we're gonna make it black and make it a little bit smaller. And we're gonna use our line tool to keep it nice and centered. And then lower this guy And get it just aligned so we have a nice little grip tape. Let's see if we can actually pull this up a little. I'm actually gonna make it a little bit thicker and just move it down just so that way it's just poking through just a little bit. Give us a nice little grip tape on top of our skateboard. And we'll group that together and select multicolor to keep it in two separate colors. All right, so here is my skateboard deck. Uh, I think it's a little bit thick, so I'm gonna thin it out a little bit and we can lift that up off the ground. We move this guy out of the way and let's start building the trucks. So I'm thinking we're gonna have a lot of cylinders here, all right? So let's grab our first cylinder and rotate it 90 degrees and just kind of sort of make it a little bit more tubular. I wanna keep it perfectly round, so I'm just gonna make the height and the width exactly the same, which I'm setting to be four, because that number looks about right. Okay, and let's actually rotate it and get it under our skateboard here, just so we can kind of get some good proportions. So I want this guy to be about there, I think it's looking pretty good. And I did mess up my, my measurements here, so I'm gonna fix those real quick. All right. Um, actually, you know what? We're gonna make it a little bit thinner. Let's try to make this 20. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate this guy and I'm gonna make this one only two by two by 40. And let's see what happens if we center this, center it, and center it again. OK, 
Okay, that's starting to look like trucks. All right. Now we need something to actually mount the trucks to the skateboard with. I'm thinking I'm going to use this rounded roof here again. Let's see, maybe a box. Or two. Yeah, I'm thinking this is looking pretty good. Let's bring this guy together. And let's actually, what we're going to do is we're going to select all of these shapes and align all of them. And I'm thinking this is starting to look pretty truck like. So let's just say I'm going to move this guy in a little bit. all of my shapes here and we'll group and make them a nice gray. I think that's looking pretty good. Now before I bother duplicating this, let's go ahead and grab our wheels. So I think I'm going to use the tubes here and we're going to step down our radius a little bit step up our wall thickness a bit and actually add a bevel, which should give us a nice skateboard wheel appearance. I'm gonna make this like a nice, uh, I really wanna make it like a creamy. We're gonna to go to custom colors here. Make it like a nice creamy white, like so. And let's rotate and rotate. And we want to scale this wheel so it looks kind of proportional with our truck. So here we go, we're gonna drag this guy in. Let's take this wheel wall thickness, step that up a little bit more. Something like that, I think is looking pretty good. I'm going to lift this guy up a bit. I think that's looking pretty good. And I'm actually going to grab another tube, which is going to just turn into our little end retaining nut here that's going to, in theory, hold our wheel in place. Make it a little bigger. There we go. It's looking pretty good. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the wheel and the nuts. We're going to duplicate that, rotate that around, and we're going to move that to the other side of our truck right there. And let's group this whole thing together. Set our color to be multicolor. And let's get this guy into the skateboard. So I'm first just gonna use our align tool to center truck with the board. And I think what we're gonna to have to do is just play with our heights here a little bit. So I'm gonna lift the skateboard up a bit. I think we're also gonna to have to lift, actually make the truck a little bit taller and bigger. So we're going to first by making the truck a little bit bigger. I'm going to lift this guy up a bit so it's right on the work plane. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to ungroup our trucks real fast just because I want to take this box and make our box a little bit taller. All right, so let's just regroup these, group those, along with all of this. And then we can lower our board. So it's right on top of our skateboard trucks here, like so. 
And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this whole thing, rotate it back here, and we're going to rotate it around. In theory, it's symmetrical, but I don't think it quite is, so now they'll be opposing. We're going to group our two trucks together and then center them on our board. And I believe that is our finished skateboard here. We're going to select everything, group it all together, maybe just pull our skateboard up like an angle here. And there's our board.